Hi guys, Tiger Noble here, and uh, this is an update for the commission I'm doing for Plus D6. So um, this is a um, cork base from um, one of my previous videos on it. So um, I've got it painted up, and I have to say it looks pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. So the only th this, the only thing I've added since then is that little lava bubble there, which I think looks pretty good. So yeah, that's the base I've come up with, mate. Tell me if you like it. Out of the way, and uh, as for the actual model, uh, that's what I've done to it. Stand him up properly. So yeah, as you can see, I've given him different hair, which was going to happen anyway, and I've also given him a beard. Uh, the beard was mainly because uh, I spotted a second hole in his chin that wasn't his mouth, so I gave him a beard to cover that up. Uh, so yeah, I, it does make him look a bit like Arjack Rockfist, especially with the big ass hammer, but oh well, he will be painted up differently. Uh, I've also subtly repositioned the hands just just because um, it looked like somebody it looked like someone was giving him a Chinese burn earlier. And the only other thing I've done is add a bit more green stuff to this weakened shoulder pad lip thing, and I filled in the um, the um, socket here that went with uh, this sword of his. And the only other thing I've done is with the hammer, I've um, taken off that bit where the wires went into, and give and covered it up with uh, some scrolls. And uh, I would have found, I would have sculpted some chain on to sort of hold it there, but then I realised I'm shit at sculpting chain. So that was that. So that's what I've done to your model, mate. Tell me what you tell me what you think. Yep, where's the base? There's the base. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to assemble him. So the the hammer is pinned uh, like that. So the hammer will be resting on his shoulder pad like that, and then he'll be standing oop, either like that on the base, that sort of sloping down, or I can spin the base round. And have him sort of standing up on the base. Now, actually, I was angling for him. Angling for. Okay, well, I was um, looking to um, have him pointing up, but I actually think pointing down looks better. So, like, uh. that. I think that looks better. Makes him look sort of more forward, more eager to fight. Uh, and also, I sculpted the beard so, so it's flowing in the wind, because if you look at the cape, that's all flowing definitely in the wind, so sort of that way, point. So I made the beard go the same way, otherwise it would have looked sort of weird. So yeah, uh, that's him, and that's a comparison to, to the actual model. So that's Stern, that is my, your conversion. You can see, there's not actually much similarity left. You can tell the same by the cloak, but um, other than that, it's pretty cool. So um, another thing I'm thinking of doing is when I get around to painting it, have um, object source lighting for the hammer. So if I can turn it around, that's him falling over for once. Oops, there it goes. Have object source lighting for the hammer, sort of cast all down his back and onto his shoulder pad. So. Just an idea for you. Yes. Stand up. There we go. So, yep. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy to call him done here, so... If you like it, then I'll go ahead and start painting it, mate. So, there you go. Bye.